Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, uh, back again with another repair video for you. Yes, a repair video. Uh, behind me, 1993 Acura Vigor. Its problem? Leaking radiator. Well, it happens a lot. Older cars, Hondas, especially with that type that has the uh, plastic tanks that are crimped onto aluminum. That's uh, something I see quite a lot. Uh, the main thing to watch out for is like electrical connections. There's also one little plastic holder here on the power steering. To give you a better view, this is the plastic tab. You gotta open it up like that. And the power steering line is loose now. But now I'm gonna jack it up so I can get underneath and gain access to those lower fasteners and also get the radiator draining so that by the time we're done, we can just lift it out and be ready to go. I'm gonna get this uh, lower cover right here off and this will give me access to all these other little bits. You just have to loosen the screw a little bit and they come out. And the rest are just 10 millimeter fasteners. This is the fan switch. I'm gonna say that most of these fasteners are probably going to break if I'm able to do anything with them at all. And I don't care because I can use new fasteners. No, it's not even grabbing. That is actually a good thing. Broke it right off. That saves us time. If the rest of them go that well, we aren't gonna have to be here all day, and I like that. Nope. We're gonna have to do something different with that guy. We're gonna forget about him for now. <laughs> Try this one instead. That's a little better. Epic rust. There we go. He's loose. Try to be nice one last time. Oh, oh, that's progress. All right, fans are all disconnected, hoses are loose. I just need to reach up in here and actually undo a few clips that hold some wiring and everything into place. There is up in here, uh, there's a connector here for one of the fans that needs to be undone. There's another. Uh, plastic clip here. There's another connector here for the other cooling fan. There's yet another plastic connection here and another plastic connection here. And all of that is really the reason why I have to do it this way as opposed to the way I normally like to do it, which is just take the fans and everything out as one unit. Okay, these fan connectors, I use these hose pliers to reach up in here and get to them and I can depress the release and just sort of pull back. Yes. Okay, all the electrical connections are out. I'm actually gonna go grab some plugs for these uh, so that I can disconnect the uh, transmission cooler lines. And some of you, well, I always get asked when I do these radiator videos of how much transmission fluid is lost. If you do it like this, it's it's negligible. You're not going to have to worry about it. The radiator's not really draining all that quickly right now. The reason is because the radiator cap's still on. Watch down here while I take the radiator cap off. And that, I'll just come in here with pliers, pry it back, upper hose. Break it loose.
And as you can see, these are considerably less rusty. This is the main cooling fan. The larger one is, and the smaller one is normally the condenser fan. We have a cooling fan. It's a relay, fan relay. This little bracket here for the overflow. The short ones hold on the brackets. The long one holds on the cooling fan. The last one holds on the condenser fan and a relay here at the top. Now here's one here that I'm just gonna twist over. And what I've been doing with these, I'll show you here. I'll, I'll get this off and show you. What I've been doing with these is I'll just pinch the actual plastic connector and that will allow it to break free. Squeeze, pull, you're out. It's just a couple of uh, hold downs that's, that's left here. Once again, rusty bolts impact. And now it's just a matter of lifting it out. Be careful you don't catch on stuff because it will want to catch on stuff. There we go. There's still going to be some stuff in here. Still a couple things we've got to swap over. One would be the lower mounts, but I'm actually not going to put these on the radiator itself. I'm actually going to put these in the vehicle. So they're going to go down right down here in these mounts. If memory serves, this is the fan switch here. The sensor itself is 22 millimeter. Anytime you get an aftermarket radiator, it's always good to check to see if these are tight. That's eh, tight. That is also tight. And I also checked the lower one. One last thing you want to make sure that's tight is the actual drain, uh, because I've found these to be loose sometimes, and a leak comes up here after you do the install. I just grabbed some uh, fasteners out of my bin there that I'm going to use to replace uh, what I broke and the rusty ones that were underneath. Now it's a matter of fishing this thing down in here, and this is what's difficult about the Vigor, is these little plastic blocks that stick out. This is what gets you. We no longer need our catch pan. Be sure you dispose of your used antifreeze properly. I'm just gonna reconnect the lower hose, but I'm not gonna be able to do anything with the clamp until I've already uh, got it down in there. We'll start just the opposite of how we put it together with the condenser fan first. Right. Fighting with this power steering line. That's just how it is. There's a relay that needs to come up. Plug in the fan. It's because I can actually get to it. Next, the cooling fan. Fight with the power steering line. Once you get it down past all that stuff, it's just gonna sit in there nicely. Once again, loosely. Uh, put the top fasteners in. I'm going to start by reattaching the uh, fasteners for the cooling fan. I've got a couple of longer ones that I'll use for the main cooling fan. And I've got another long one here. Oh crud. We forgot this relay. thought something seemed weird. Don't forget the relay. While I'm at it, I'm going to reconnect this uh, transmission line because it's actually part of those brackets that go in there. Hit that clamp. This just seems like the best way to do this because other than that, it seems like a fight to try to get it into position. Almost home free. Now I'm gonna run them all down. Okay, we've got one last transmission line to connect. Now I'm gonna plug that uh, fan switch back in and also pull the clamp down for the uh, 
lower hose. Right, well, it's just a matter of tightening up these fasteners and uh, hooking up the upper radiator hose again. Here's that little plastic cap for the power steering hose. This is actually here to uh, keep the hood prop from rubbing on top of this, so don't lose this. Now I'm gonna prep the system for bleeding. Use my trusty spill-free funnel. These old Acuras just take green coolant. Now we'll start it up and run it with the heat on full, but the fan off until the cooling fans come on. So to avoid asphyxiating me and the cameraman, I'm gonna open the door and put the back end outside. Now we'll bring the RPMs up to about 2,500 RPM till the cooling fans come on. Well, okay, radiator replacement, 1993 Acura Vigor. We just finished bleeding the cooling system, topped it off, and no more leaks. I uh, checked underneath uh, to see if there was anything leaking, and it didn't appear that there was anything down there that was leaking, so I believe we're gonna pull it back in, put the lower cover back on, and call it done. Don't need to show you that, you saw how it came off. Really important that you bleed the cooling system when you're done with a job like this. Once again, there'll be links in the description to any related videos to this one, any related articles, any useful information. So check the description if you have any questions. If you have uh, automotive issues, I would ask that you head over to airthecarguy.com. There's a welcome video there to tell you about all the amazing features that we have uh, to help you with those automotive issues, should you have them. In addition to that, uh, you can connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. I post repair videos each and every Friday, and I also close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty.